Hi, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis on them, give them my own personal rating, and help you decide whether they are worth purchasing or not. I buy all the products with my own money and I'm not sponsored by anyone for unbiased reviews. Today I'm doing a first impressions review of the Intense Sports Pull-Up Assist Band. I'm not sure how many of you are like me where you do a lot of pull-ups in your routines, but I do know this. When you do your first set of pull-ups, it's usually pretty easy and then it gets harder and harder as you go round two, three, and four, and sometimes five. So I thought it would be a great idea to get something like this for me because I do need assistance as well. A lot of times I'm doing five sets of 10 pull-ups and that's a lot of pull-ups. I can't do that many and I hate to be on the bar and start kipping and, and cheating to try and get up. I don't think that helps very well. So this helps because it kind of just helps you up and gets you stronger over time so you can actually make those pull-up goals. So let's get right into what's in the box and then get outside and try this thing out. Here's what I got from Intense Sports. It's a little pouch, traveling pouch, where you can take around your pull-up assist band with you wherever you go. It comes fully assembled, which makes it really easy. It's got this little instruction manual, which shows how to connect it to pull-up bars. Here's how the pull-up assist band works. Here's the foot loop where you put your foot into, which will help assist you on making those extra pull-ups. Also, it just connects really easily and clips in like that. It's also got these different indicators to make it longer or shorter. The longer you make it, the less resistance, the less help you're going to get. And the shorter you make it, the more resistance and more help you're going to get doing your pull-ups. It provides up to 130 pounds of assist, which is probably enough. They also make a blue one if you're larger and you need to be assisted up to 200 pounds. So either or, whatever works for you is fine. Just a quick note, I weigh 170 pounds, so this I think is gonna be perfect for me, but I'll find out when I go outside. Now I used to use this thing, which is great. I can't remember where I bought this, but it's a uh, pull-up bar that you can just use inside your house. And if you guys don't have a place to work out outside, just grab one of these, connect it right on here, and then let it hang down. In fact, let me do that really quick. Voila, here you go. So you can do it at home too if you want. I'm lucky, I have a park that's nearby. I like to work out outside. I'm really getting into doing that because after being inside and working out at home for so long, I just wanna get outdoors basically. Now I did a little research on intense sports and to be honest with you, I didn't find that much out about them. I know it was started in 2016. I don't know where they make their products. I, I couldn't tell you to be honest with you, but this got a lot of good reviews on Amazon and I thought I'll try it out, check out if the reviews are right and then let you guys know all about it. I did look on the Intent Sports website and they do offer a lot of other products as well which I don't know much about but they have jump ropes, they have portable home gyms, they have battle ropes, they have Swiss balls and a whole host of other products. Maybe I'll check some of those out later. So let's get out there, go to the park, get some tests in so you can see how it works. I just love working out outside for some reason. There's something about the elements that are great. You have to adjust your body to the conditions, which I think is good for you because you're working different muscles and it's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable, which I like. It keeps my workout routine different every day and just makes it a little more exciting. I'm also a little bit lucky. I have a couple parks where I can work out outside on these bars. I'm sure you might have a park close by, but I have two of them. So if one's busy, I can go to the other one, which is great. All right, here I am at one of my favorite pull bars. I'm gonna use the higher one just to make it look the most uncomfortable to get to, to test this thing out, to see how it works on tough places too. Instructions, you can stay out there. So I'm gonna climb up there, put it on, and uh, see how it works. So I'm just doing a few of them. Obviously the first ones are the easiest, and you can, one, you know, take it easy doing this stuff, no problem. It's when you get to set 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Starts to hurt. Please warm up before you do this. All right, so now if I'm up here and I have to do a few more sets, I'll put it in the lowest one here and see how it helps out. Boom, huge help. Boom, huge help. All right, so that is the least amount of resistance. <laughs> Boing, that was pretty easy to work out with. So now if I need more help, it's getting later on the workout and I can barely do one or two because it's my fourth or fifth set. Let's see how to adjust this really quickly. Because one thing I did notice is it assisted me to about here and the last little bit, I definitely had to strain, which is good because it gets you practicing to do those extra pull-ups that you will eventually get to. Believe me, you keep doing pull-ups, they get easier and easier. I could barely do three when I started. Now I'm doing 10, 12, and a few sets of them. That was pretty simple. Now I'm a little bit higher, more assistance, help me push off the top. All right, this is too easy. But at least I know, and you can figure it out at home on what you need to do to make it just a little bit of struggle so you know you'll get better at them, but at the same time, not too hard so you're not kipping like this to get to the top. Pretty impressed with this thing. And it's got a plastic buckle on it which looks like it's kind of chintzy, but it's holding really well. Let's see if that keeps up over time. Here's a little tip if you're doing your pull-ups outside. Most of these are metal bars that you're gonna be using and your hands can get pretty callous and if you're not used to doing pull-ups outside, it's, it's hard on the hands. So what I did is I took an old wetsuit I had and just cut it up into squares. Really easy, you just use these and grip it over the top like this and it really helps, especially on those wet mornings too when you can't get a grip and your hands won't hurt. So I suggest you can either buy these online at Amazon, I'm not sure how much they cost, or just make them yourself. If you live almost anywhere by a lake or by the beach, they've got these shops that have old wetsuits. You could probably buy them for like 10 bucks or something and cut some of these squares out. Huge help. So what's my first impression of the Intense Sports Pull-Up Assist Bands? Pretty impressed actually. And what's great about it is anybody can use it. I don't care if you're a beginner just starting out doing pull-ups or if you're really advanced. If you do two pull-ups or if you can't even do one pull-up, this is great. If you do 100 pull-ups and you're super strong but you wanna do 125, this is great. You can adjust it to that level where you don't feel like you're getting too much assistance and you're still working hard. Because how else are you gonna train your muscles to get stronger you just gotta keep pushing yourself and you wanna give yourself a little bit of help. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger did a little bit of cheat in his workouts and he did pretty well, I'd say. There is one warning I wanna let you know about. These are made of latex, so here's the warning. These bands are made with natural rubber latex, which may cause allergic reaction in some people. I imagine if uh, you use these and you don't touch the latex, you'll probably be fine, but just to let you know. Now let's get to the pros and cons of this product. First, what are the pros? Comes fully assembled, affordable price, a lot of good reviews on Amazon to back it up, great way to improve your pull-up performance, free shipping, up to 30 days with free returns. What are the cons? Need to be careful when inserting your foot in or taking it out of the foot holder, especially when it's set at more resistance as it can be a little dangerous because of the sudden retraction of the rubber bands. Not sure how long it will last. Finally, there is some conflicting information about a lifetime warranty and the pounds of resistance the assist bands have. On the Amazon site, it said it had a lifetime warranty and there was up to 120 pounds of resistance. However, on the Intense Sports website, I couldn't find anything about the lifetime warranty and it said it had 130 pounds of resistance. That was a little tricky, so I just went with what the Intense Sports website said. Now let's get to my own rating system which is on a scale from one to 10, with 10 being best. We have price, performance, and staying power. Let's start with price. What's the price of this product? Is it worth the money? 
My first impression is, yes, this is definitely worth the money. It's only around $34, $35, and what you get out of it will really help you in your workouts. So for price, I'll give it an eight. Next is performance. How did this product perform? As a first impression, I was really happy with the performance of this product. It's light and easy to carry around. It's easy to attach to pull-up bars. I could see myself taking it with me on vacations or business trips since it's small and easy to store. So for performance, I'll give it an eight. Next is staying power. Am I gonna keep this product around and use it a lot or is it just one of these one and done kind of products? From what I have seen, it performs well, so I think the staying power is gonna be around a seven or an eight, but I won't know because the product is brand new. This is the first time I've used it. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last. Right now, the Amazon reviews are all kind of giving a thumbs up to that, so we'll see what happens in the long haul, and I'll do a follow-up review later on. So for staying power, I'm gonna give it a seven with an asterisk, knowing that I'll come back to it later to see how it does. So what's the final tally? Price, eight. Performance, eight. Staying power, seven, with an asterisk. That brings it to a total average score of 7.7, .7, with an asterisk. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe if you'd like to, and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos when they come out. They come out every Tuesday, by the way. And of course, hit me up at KurtFitBy on Instagram where I post at least two times a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one.